Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. This episode, we're back at the 3040. I've got another coin loaded up. I'm going to try some changes to my G-code to see if I can't uh, achieve a little bit more success than I did the last time. I'm also going with a little bit bigger um, a bit here. I'm going with a 2.4 millimeter. I ran the geometries. I'll run a thing up in the corner and it seems to still fit with this 2.4 now the last one I was running a 1.75 um, millimeter bit so I'm hoping that this little beefier bit maybe lasts uh, better also what I'm doing is I've slowed it down uh, from four millimeters a second to two millimeters a second I'm still going with the 0.1 cut um, so I think that worked well uh, I haven't messed with it with the acceleration yet. I'm hoping that just by stepping down by half will help with the acceleration problem I had that I talked about in the last episode. And let's see if this works. So tell you what, I got the code loaded up. Let's go ahead and run it. Welcome back from the time lapse. As you can see, I was successful this time around, and actually not once, not twice, but three times. And I went to five just to make up for those bits I lost in the last round. But as you can see, they came out pretty good. Now I want to talk a little bit about a couple different things. So, as mentioned, I went with a 2.4 millimeter instead of a 175 uh, bit, same type of bit as far as fluting. I, I slowed it down to about uh, two millimeters a second. Same cut depth of 0.1 millimeter. Um, worked pretty good. Uh, still, I think issues with acceleration. I needed to accelerate slower. Um, so I'm going to still look into that. The other thing I did is I changed the cut depth to make it deeper. So I got two passes where after it cut out, it ran the bit down and really cleaned up these uh, pieces so I, I think it probably still needs just a touch of filing but they are better than the one that came out before at least the partial one that came out before so I'm pretty happy with the way that these came out as you can kind of see they're kind of cool I really like this idea of messing around with coin art and carving stuff in there I still would like to get back to a 1.75 I because I can just get better resolution as you saw at, at the onset when I did the geometry of the tool pathing, eh, it's pretty tight with the 2.4, but it definitely wore a lot better than the 175. The other thing I want to bring up with this uh, regarding the centering. So I used my centering jig that I covered in a different episode, and I actually talked about in the last one too, the centering jig. However, the one thing that I found, I, I discovered, which is kind of obvious, I think, but... Um, I think it's worth kind of mentioning. And also, a little bit impressive with how this uh, PET G printed fixture works is basically after I did the first, I just kept plugging in coin after coin. You know, the two other coins right in here didn't reset anything, told the machine to go, and it held its center very nice. So I, I'm, I'm pleased with the way that this came out and the way that this uh, uh, chuck is working. The other thing is, as far as sinking the heat, this, heat, this large chuck with this coin mounted in there really soaks up the heat. After all this cutting, I can pull it out and it's, it's, it's cool to the touch. So that's really worked well, so I've been happy with that. So kind of all in all, I think it's uh, this round has been successful. Man versus machine, machine won, man won. So we have to you know go for a tiebreaker here on something else. But anyways, Hopefully you found this interesting, you got some inspiration, you got some good ideas. Uh, I know a lot of people ask me about products to make and, and you know, here's just some good ideas. You take a regular coin and you turn it into art. You can make a necklace out of these. You see I punched a hole in the top. Uh, and that's the other thing, I'd like a little bit smaller hole but because it's a 2.4 and I do a peck drill, I mean I can't get smaller than 2.4. That's where I really like the 175. But anyways, I'm rambling again. But as you see, you can come up with some neat stuff because uh, these these are unique and would make a unique gift so 
Anyways, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget the bell over there. Actually, it's a reminder. you got to go down there and hit it so you get notifications when I put out new content. Don't forget the swag shop up in the corner. Uh, and let me know, what other designs can I cut out on coins that you guys would think are interesting? Hit me up in the comments below, and we'll see you in the next video where we do some more cool stuff. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on